was supposed to be around here somewhere. Oh, there Scan through all these classrooms to find who we're looking for. Is this thing? Thank you, see. What am I doing wrong? in there. Nobody in there either. Maybe the school we are. Oh, there we go. Thanks for coming. Already shot to the big boss. I saw you. Quick perk for those team star lackeys outside the school. The idea of star falls on the king to me. My skills let me get a hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to attempt you and helping me out. After this operation started, I kept an eye on you, a member of the supply unit, and had you battle bosses on my behalf, all the goal of defeating me and putting me in a team star once more. But still, there's a part of me that wants team star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Sorry to keep you. A letter of apology this time. That was that you climb, Penny. This one is you. Wow. In the flesh, I have a task for you, Clyde. If you'll accept it. I want you to record what happens next. <clears throat> if I can send a video to your team star, they'll need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. I need you to. The boss of Team Star, Cassiopeia. No, Penny.
keeping this one. Switch. Great test. So I'm going to switch that. Fought your battle skills. One of the bosses. Textualized crap. the end of Penny. It's all over now. Got 15,000? Shoot. Okay, that is finally over. It's done. We should call it quits. Hold up. So we should break up the team. You gotta be joking. We got carried away in an operation. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Well, so what happens when you make a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and show them some manners. We didn't even f fight them and, and we didn't do anything wrong. Indeed, we merely declare our intention to battle to the nail should the villains persist. Their tyrant tyrannous oppression. So this was bloodless victory, we assured you. And he didn't even send out their Pokemon, just bubbled up, blundered up and Apologize a whole lot. Now, if it's 
I don't know if it's supposed to spook them good, but the bullies made a huge stink about what happened, about what went down, and they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plans backfired epically. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right. This little stunt might have put put us up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you into all this. So I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, no, but kind of big boss, you did not. Now that the bullets are gone, you guys should start going to school again. And what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in the room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we're not, we never met in person, you were kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to take care of some things. Pretty speak with us, was dying in the tent. Thanks for everything, you too, Clive. But I can see through this to the end. It's as if it's your story. But I thought, Miss uh, Penny, I'd like to check something. Check what? Why well, resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Was there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before. They still didn't quit. And I simply ordered them to. The code states that no one on the team has the right to order people around. I couldn't ask them to do stuff that I could never order. I never could order them. So it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could. I knew I could use it to force. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Because the bosses would do anything the code required of them, even leave the team. Yes, even the, according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. A starfall. Maybe I should not. What does a star know? What do your friends and the team mean to you? To this treasure shit. Uh, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit it with the old geezer at Clive. You're not you're keeping me out. Indeed, well then, before we talk any further, allow me to reveal my own secret identity. Director Clavel, just as Cassiopeia was your disguise, the boy you know as Clive was mine, but why? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers after all, much more when faced with the director of the academy, but where they even start wasn't offered a bit much, plus I have some big feelings about that wig. Um, that's quite enough of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? So it's the team? The boss no time no scene. Not like long time no meet, right? You only found out your real name just now. Oh, Lord. I'm not gonna be trying to read this dude speaking in fucking Renaissance. Well, why the fuck does she still have all that damn makeup? the lovely star first off all of them did it differently and they all look horrible they look like power rangers without the power i'm spending each of you young bosses as well on behalf of the academy i'd like to say team star and my sincerest apologies come again as the director of the academy i let you down by handling the situation of dismissal failure i still don't you all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as director, I've never experienced the Academy as an environment blessed free from bullying. But I now know this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course, your immense courage for putting things to right. And so I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey here are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist should that be your wish. Then great, now we can stay together. 
my heart is giggity with glee, but I betrayed all of you. Oh, here we go with this sentimental crap. Oh, but I did so bad, but you guys are so loyal to me. Well, I love when this, this shit happens in games. We're worried about us, right? Not like we ever chuck them, chuck the team just because someone told us to and ain't our style. So, everyone, I got more to say. It's previously stated the requirement for team starting to span has been revoked. However, there's still some unsettled matters to discuss. Why don't we find a few examples? The protracted truancy, your brazen customization of school uniforms, the unauthorized uses of the academy equipment, the reckless modification of jeopardous driving Pokemon powered vehicles. Yeah, I go on. Your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked. Thus, as punishment, we will all need to be required to engage in community service. Yes, I was specifically asking to manage the STCs, and it stands for Star Training Centers. There shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents, and I plan the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Master Formula battling his way through your bases. The bases, construction, as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members using your former bases as training facilities. And that's the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Sounds like fun. I don't see how this would be anything but a win-win. This may be a weird thing to say, but the STCs, the STCs are supposed to be a punishment and all. But you should totally join in too. It's true. We would most be happy to have you at our sides. We can go to school together too. That way, if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We're already talking about how great it'd be if we, to have both Team Star and school in our lives. This is a sweet deal for us. So, what do you say? No need to give your response right this moment, Miss Minnie. Do take time for, for now. I at least think this little group should go their separate ways, and not to say you should break break up Team Star after all. I simply meant it's time to leave. Lord. Uh, director's office. STCs, I like to work on them together with the rest of the team star. Wonderful news, thank you for a favorable response, but I should be punished more heavily than others, I think. Why so? You know, because of the other really bad thing I did. That would be, you know, the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping up Starfall. I kind of sort of illegally by hacking the Pokemon League's management system. I see that's quite a revelation. I don't think such a thing was possible in the first place. It wasn't that hard. I mean, I'm really sorry. I won't do it again. It's a matter of it's rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I will have to consult Miss Gita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on our best to proceed. I figure as much. I do apologize, but I will have to ask us for some privacy. What the hell you asked me to come in here for any anyway? talk to you about. Just come meet me in front of the school, you know, when we first met, I'll be waiting. Or if this is another battle. Oh, 
I know this ain't no sentimental crap. Does she not see these socks and these shoes? The six of us thought of that catchphrase back when we created the team. It's so cringy, it's perfect, you know? I don't care about any of this. When your LP thing, I thought I was going down big time for hacking the league point system. They're letting me off easy. Pokemon Lee said they'll waive my debt if I do some volunteer engineering for them. They even asked me to come work for them after I graduate. Can you believe that? Dr. Clavel and Gita lady kept complimenting me like a weird amount. Apparently, I have outstanding talent or something. Sorry for calling you out here to meet like this. I'm just I'm still not so great to meet face to face. I never seem to find the right words, but um. Thank you. You say Team Star and my friends along with it. I don't know. I know words will never be enough to properly thank you for all you've done so here. Draco Meteor. I should have put this to good use. And one more thing. I want to repay the debt. If you ever think a way I can do it, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. The next time I'll be the one helping you. Yeah. Tell me where you got the Eevee backpack from. Talked about before. When there is zero, yes. Of course you do. You know a little know it all gotta go steal trap. Well, all the effort putting we've been putting in around Peldia has really helped make a name for yourself, but you built up some goodwill, that's for sure. So I've been able to secure two allies who wanna go to area zero with us. That should have us ready to tackle anything. So now that we get the first step we'll be gathering at area zero. I'll be waiting at the zero gate and I'll see my location. I'm gonna be hanging forever. And I'll be waiting. And we still got like three legendaries to fight. Alright, just gonna mark that destination. So we did that. So the only thing we have to do now. Head there, but I think I'm gonna end my playthrough not the playthrough, but I'm gonna end my stream right here. But when we come back, we'll officially be heading to the last bit of story, which is the great crater of Paldia. And we also have to go find the three legendaries that are in the game. I don't remember their names and I don't know their location, so I'm gonna have to look that up. But uh, we still have to pull those the rest of those stakes out the ground. Supposedly there's eight of them. And uh, yeah. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Peace. Remember, be humble in victory, be gracious in defeat. Show no mercy in battle. <laughs>